speaking of science, uh, there is a factor that has to be taken in consideration. I'm thinking, for instance, of genetic engineering of plants, uh, stem cells, which are big problems that will confront the people in the years to come. Uh, speaking of uh, genetic engineering of plants, I personally feel that unless you can stop worldwide the uh, over uh, population it's a global problem it's not restricted to it uh, unless you can you can put an end to that uh, i don't see how our civilization would manage without it and of course there's an enormous opposition which which is understandable but uh, against any kind of genetic engineering. And, um, but in addition to that, there has been a change in the view of science recently. There is a, a myth young, there, there is a anxiety uh, against science, um, which is for me surprising because no previous century has contributed as much to the welfare of, of man, his health, etc., probably than this one. And yet, uh, I have the impression that today, when a new discovery is made, the first question being asked by people in which way will it endanger the environment, menace our health, or, or destroy the our civilization altogether to such an extent that certain people wonder whether or not uh, humankind will be able to survive uh, the next millennium. And I don't have this fright. I have a big faith in science. I, I don't think that science, as I told this afternoon, that science is dangerous. I think that uh, ignorance is. Uh, now, uh, <clears throat> but if you look at what will happen in the future, it's absolutely impossible. Sure, in the near future, you can make predictions. But for the distant future, it's, uh, it's totally, absolutely, completely impossible to do so. We cannot predict the world that will surround us in a century or two or more. Uh, because, as I said, it will be absolutely completely different. We, c we can no more predict the world that will surround us than Christopher Columbus, just a few centuries ago, could have imagined that within a few centuries, thousands of people would cross the Atlantic every day with just within a few hours that, that uh, man would uh, walk on the moon, that people could communicate instantly all over the world and even see one another instantly or, or, or could have imagined atomic energy. You cannot imagine what you cannot conceive. And there's no, for me, uh, there will be no difference between us and what will happen in the future. Things that we think are totally impossible might all of a sudden explode and, and open, and, and they will, probably faster than we think.